gentlemen, and you, sir. Yeah, my preparation. Of the offense thou hast done him, I know not. But thy interceptor awaits thee at the orchard end. Therefore, dismount thy tuck, for thy assailant hath in him, but rage, skill, fury can furnish a man withal. You mistake, sir. I'm sure no man hath any offense towards me. <laughs> I met my remembrance is very free and clear from any image of offense done to any man. Oh, well, you'll find it otherwise, I assure you. Therefore, if you hold your life at any price, we take you to your guard, for thy assailant is quick, skillful, and deadly. I pray you, sir, what manner of man is he? He is knight, dubbed with unhatched rapier, and caught with consideration. But he is devil in private combat. Souls and bodies hath he divorced, three. And his incense at this moment is so inflexible that it cannot be curved but by with pangs of death and sepulchre. Hobnob is his word. Give it or take it. <laughs> <laughs> I will return again into the house and desire some conduct of the lady. <laughs> I am no fighter. I have heard of such men who put quarrels on others so as to taste their valor. Be like this is a man of that court. Sir, no. His indignation derives itself out of very competent injury. Therefore, to take you to your guard. Back you shall not to the house unless you wish to undertake what you have with him, with me. And for your safety, you might as well take with him. <laughs> Therefore, snout thy tongue. Put up your irons, or for swear to iron about you. This is as uncivil as strange. I beseech you, do me the courteous office as to know of the knight what my offense to him is. It is something of my negligence, nothing of my purpose. I will do so. Signor Fabian, stay with this young gentleman till my return. <laughs> 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 